Wow! Frankie Edgar versus Pedro Munoz. That is a fight of the year candidate. Wow! They threw freaking everything. The crisp boxing by Frankie Edgar and the par punching by Pedro Munoz. It's just... Wow! They freaking threw everything at each other and they both survived. It's fight of the year. They threw everything and I can't believe they're still standing by the end of it. And yeah, I can't I'm waiting for the freaking decision. I don't know who won, but I think Pedro won. Three rounds to two. Split decision. If I had to pick a winner. But I think personally it should be a draw. It should be a draw match, but they hardly bring out draws anymore. In my opinion it should be a draw but Knowing the UFC, they're going to do a split decision to Pedro, I think. As for Frankie Edgar, he is 38 years old and fighting in a new division. He's in bantamweight. He's always been lightweight in his life and he was freaking... No, wait, not bantamweight. Uh, featherweight. No, wait, this is bantamweight. Featherweight he fought before. And yeah, he's 38. He's one of the legends, the OGs, a uh, future Hall of Famer and... Yeah, we'll see. Okay, right here, the decision. As, as I said, it should be a draw, but it's going to be a split for Pedro. See, look, split decision. It should be a draw. Come on, Frankie. Oh, what? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Woohoohoo! Frankie Edgar actually won! Yeah! As I said, future Hall of Famer, 38 years old. Pedro had the power, and I thought he was gonna knock Frankie Edgar out, but he did not. Frankie Edgar was in another five round war. He's got the record for the most minutes fought in the UFC of all time in history. And those leg kicks, those leg kicks by Pedro was just. Freaking deadly. Deadly as hell. But Frankie is still stuck in move. He was moving like he was freaking 20 years old. But he's 38. Uh, great freaking fight. Oh uh, crap, my phone. Okay, um, yeah. Frankie Edgar, great win. Split decision. I hope that was going to happen. I thought the UFC was going to be corrupted and cho choose Pedro because he's the future. And Frankie Edgar is on his way out. But this, this fight showed that he is still dangerous to everybody in that division or in the UFC in general so yeah I think that's all I've got um great freaking stand-up battle it was a freaking war and the right person won Frankie Edgar just he's tough he's resilient and yeah I can't wait to he fights next who does he fight next he's in the freaking bantamweight division now maybe TJ Dillashaw uh, maybe that would be a little bit too much. I wouldn't mind seeing Cody Garbrandt versus freaking Frankie Edgar. I wouldn't mind watching that one. Anyway, that's it. Peace out. Great night of fights. One of the best cards I've ever seen on ESPN. One of the greatest ESPN cards ever. And I've seen a lot of fights on ESPN. But, yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Close fight. Frankie Edgar won. I love that decision, and I think that's all I want to say. And yeah, anyway, I'm gonna watch the interview here, and yeah, peace out. Frankie Edgar won. What a war. Peace out. Yeah, I don't know what else to say.